speak. You know, let's get on to a positive, uh, a real positive story for um, women around the region and especially women in Singapore. And that is the arrival of something called mentor walks into Singapore. Now, is, this is something that's been happening in Australia for about six years already, helping over 5,000 strong women uh, step forward in their careers. And the concept is very simple. Uh, one person takes up to two other aspiring mentees uh, to spend an hour walking and talking uh, with an exceptional great female idea. mentor. And uh, what a great idea. Everybody wants to get out and get some exercise anyway, and what better way to connect with people than to do this. Joining us to talk about the arrival of Mentor Walks officially coming to Singapore is the co-founder of Mentor Walks, Bobby Mahlab, is joining us from Australia. And Aliza Knox, a good friend of the show here, a Singapore leader of Mentor Walks. Uh, welcome to the show, ladies. Great to have you both with us today. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Bobby, let's let's start with you uh, as co-founder of Mentor Walks. Give us a, a bit of the history and, and the value that you have found doing this now for a, a number of years in Australia. Look, the value and the purpose of Mentor Walks is about helping women at every stage of their career have access to wise people with enormous experience who they can talk about anything and get clarity and importantly, to build their networks. And the origin of the program came from my own personal experience when I was in Shanghai in a conference and happened to meet a fantastic woman called Michelle Gano, who um, is the inspiration behind M on the Bund. And she was running mental walks the week I was in Shanghai, invited us along. And early one morning, Adina Jacobs, the co-founder, and I took this cab to this park in the middle of Shanghai somewhere. And I joined one group and Adina joined the other. And I was investigating taking my business into China at the time. And in that conversation, I met two women who absolutely accelerated my decision about whether or not I was going to take my business into China. And I would never have met them had I not gone on that walk. Mm. So we got to the gates of the park and looked at each other and said, this is such a simple, impactful idea. Let's take it to Australia. And two months later, we launched it in Sydney. And mm. now um, 10 locations later, and as you said, it, we're almost at 6,000 women who have participated. We are beyond excited to be bringing it to the women of Singapore. That's wonderful. And before we talk about Singapore, Bobby, I'd just like to get a bit more information about Australia and how quickly it expanded, how, how, how quickly it grew and how popular it became, because it's an extraordinary story. It is. It, it expanded very quickly because it, it has some enormous word of mouth recommendation. It receives a net promoter score of 9.1 consistently. Wow. And mm -hmm. we survey mentees after each walk, walk. And we also do really serious impact surveys every two years where an independent research company comes in and measures the actions women are taking as a result of being part of the program. And we know definitively that women are making important career decisions and having important conversations and also meeting women that can help them in their careers as a result of coming on mental walks. <laughs> and another aspect of its impact that we didn't an anticipate is the connections that would form peer to peer between the mentees. And one of my favorite stories that I'd like to share is in a group that I took there was a woman who um, was an actress who was starting a business teaching people to present, how to present publicly, and another woman in the group who was a finance manager who had to present to her executive team. And the two of them bartered their skills. So the finance manager helped the presenter do the business plan and budget for her business, and the mm -hmm. presenter trained the finance manager how to present to her executive. And those kind of synergies and serendipities are happening all the time. Mm, wonderful. Thank you, Bobby. That's that's great. Elisa, let's uh, let's go, go over to you and, and the, the Singapore impact uh, on this. Of course, Elisa, you're an, an author. Uh, your most recent book, uh, Don't Quit Your Day Job. You've been a woman in tech for many years, uh, working uh, at Cloudflare and Twitter and others. And, and also, I, I know for a fact you've been a mentor to many women yourself. Uh, what does this program allow you to do as a mentor that maybe you weren't able to do before or a way that you were able to do it now that's different? 
I think what's great about this program is, as Bobby calls it, it's um, low commitment, high impact. So there are a lot of senior women who really want to give back and give back in so many ways, you know, being on public boards in, in Singapore, helping with government um, initiatives, uh, working for charities, but they're time poor. And so this enables many of them to do something once a month, once every two months for an hour, meet with two or sometimes three people walking. And really, it helps them scale a little bit and give back in a way that they can't otherwise. And it similarly gives the mentees great access to senior women that they might not otherwise get, again, because those people are, are time poor. So I feel like we're filling a gap um, mm. that, is, that is hard to fill through other programs available in Singapore. Wonderful. And Eliza, you are the Singapore leader for Mentor Walks. Tell us a little bit about that, how you made that transition from Australia to Singapore and uh, how, how that's looking and what the roadmap is for Mentor Walks in Singapore. Well, it's interesting. I mean, Bobby is clearly the co-founder and the brains behind all this. My whole tech career has been go to market. You know, Google, Twitter, Cloudflare, great companies headquartered somewhere else, bring them into market and make it work. So in a sense, I'm just doing the same thing with something that is giving back. <laughs> We've had an incredibly strong response. It's a, it's a little bit lower tech, right? Uh, admittedly. Well, a little bit. <laughs> it's not deep tech. It's deep, it's deep emotion, I think, or deep sure. connection. Um, but, it, it, but it's the same kind of thing. It's how do we, yeah. how do we build it? But one of the great things about this is that uh, there's no need to push sales involved. We put up a couple posts about this being available. We've had an incredible response. Because you guys were kind enough to invite us on this program, we have left the signups on over the weekend. Normally, we would close Friday for the following Tuesday because we're mm. actually full. But we're going to stretch a bit because we're hoping that people will listen to this and get excited. And so nice. the signups, which they can <laughs> find on Mentor Walks on LinkedIn or in my LinkedIn, I posted about it are there um, until Sunday night because of because of this. But we've had great sign up and if people don't get in this time, we're gonna do it, I think every two months to start. Um, mm -hmm. And we'll just keep it going. It's what's so great about it is, you know, in Singapore, we travel so much. And so people often, I mean, we're getting back to it now, right? We had this two year period where we couldn't, but a lot of the senior women are out of board meetings or, um, mm -hmm. you know, out with clients and so if they miss a month it's not the end of the world and so this is a program they can commit to and the same with mentees the mentees are mid-career uh, usually and so they've got yeah. obligations too and so this is something where we can grow it because there's not there's no constraints if you can't come one month you come the next month so the response yeah. has been great and we're really excited about building it here Fantastic. We're talking about mentor walks. Uh, Bobby Mahlab, the co-founder, and Aliza Knox, the Singapore leader, the uh, program that started about six years ago, helping already over 5,000 mentees, women get together and walk for an hour or so and chat about uh, their careers, their aspirations. And Bobby, um, how do you, first of all, how do you ch choose the mentors, mm -hmm. or in fact, do you choose the mentors? And secondly, how then do you match mentors with mentees with the walkers the mentors come uh, from recommendations from my mentor community experienced senior leaders female leaders no other great women who are invested in helping other women succeed and it comes from recommendations and it also comes from someone like Elisa who has enormous um, contacts in within the Singapore um, uh, location and also has had a fantastic career herself. Um, so the mentors, as I, as I said, really come from other mentees, the mentors rather, because good women know good women and good leaders know other good leaders. Hmm. Um, the mentees, the way we match it is that when someone applies to come on a walk through our website, which is mentorwalks.org, we ask them a little bit about themselves. It's not onerous at all, but we also ask them what the question is they wish to discuss. And that can be very broad and it can be something very big or very small, because as we all know, one person's big issue is another person's small issue. 
Sure. And based on what we know about them, we will match them with the mentor where we think they'll have the most productive experience. So say, for example, someone's issue is around um, career progression within a corporate, we will match them with someone who's had a corporate career and understands that environment inside out. If it's about an entrepreneurial issue or a startup, we will match them with someone who's had an entrepreneurial career. So there is um, a lot of thought put into the matching and, um, and also what you find is that senior women have experienced a lot of similar things um, that um, one of the most common question or comment that comes after women attend mentor walks is, oh, I thought I was the only one that had that issue. Mm -hmm. And the likelihood is, is that it's an issue for you. It's also been an issue for someone else along your, your career. If yeah, I can jump in. Uh, yeah, sure. I just wanted to give you a few ideas of the names so you get some, some interesting background. So um, mentors we have this time around, uh, for example, and this is not all of them, Elizabeth Hernandez, who I think you know, Glenn, who is sure, um, very well. senior in public affairs, Sui Ling Chia, who is a banker and investor, Nayantara Bali, who's um, on the board of Starhub and has a long career in FMCG, Su Ting Fu, who is the CMO of HP, Tracy Woon, who is the vice chair of UBS and now a board director, Dina Koppel, who runs a consulting practice. So you can see it's a wide range of different backgrounds um, and, and different industries. And Elisa, just finally, I'm sure many people listening will be interested in these walks and, and feel free to post any links you'd, you'd like on, on our Facebook live chat. I'm just interested for the benefit of listeners, what are the actual mechanics of the walk? I mean, do you always have a fixed location or does the walk change depending on who you're bringing along? I mean, how does the mechanics of the actual walk work in Singapore? Um, let me go over to Bobby for that so I can post the link for you. Okay. Sure. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll answer that. Um, the walks in Singapore happen every two months. They're structured events. They start at a quarter past seven in the morning and finish promptly at 8.30 so everyone can go to the rest of their working day. So um, in Singapore, they're taking place at Malign Park um, and you must pre-register to, to uh, attend. Um, so that's the nuts and bolts, structured event, consistent, the same location, the same time, uh, the same um, often day of the week, every two Wonderful. months. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, so awesome. we're basically, we're meeting at the barrage and we'll walk around the barrage <clears throat> on Tuesday morning. Yeah. Perfect. Well, Chantel Travers, one of our listeners, has written in and said, what a fabulous idea. I have just posted this on various sites. A great collaboration it is. Signing up right now. Yeah. There you go. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, it is mentorwalks.org is the organization. Uh, Bobby Mahlab uh, joining us from, uh, from uh, Australia and Aliza Knox, the Singapore leader here in Singapore. Good luck to you. I hope it goes really well and, and, and come back on again after you've done uh, one or two of them and let's talk about what, what kind of results you're seeing. Thank We'd you so much. To. We'd love to. Thanks. Have a great weekend.